YouTube, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at the new event that's rolling out tomorrow and what it entails. So let's get right into it. Uh, this time around, it's going to be Surge and Morty. Now, unfortunately, that Morty is already in the game and it is available by evolution. So you could actually theoretically catch yourself six Dr. Mortys. Uh, they're found in Gear of Mortanic. I actually usually use them when I run into them to get uh, experience points because it's rare. So I actually defeat quite a lot of them. Now, if you get six of those, you can evolve it into a Surgeon Marty, which has a total base stat of 375. It has 85 attack, 98 defense, 92 speed, and 100 HP. Also, the base XP is pretty low, so this bad boy is going to take quite a lot to level up. Uh, in terms of its move pool, there isn't anything particularly special about it i'd say uh i mean it has immunization which is a powerful normal move you get eight of those and it's 122 power uh it's the same type of attack uh you fetch harm is it's okay as well it's pretty powerful you also get eight of those and it does get access to blood pressure that could boost its attack uh, outside of that it also can decrease your opponent's speed greatly with gross out as well as drop their defense with Medicaid. Outside of that, I don't think there is anything else to say about this Morty. Uh, it's nothing super special. It's nothing over the top. I mean, you could throw it on a team and you could get some use out of it. I think for this event, however, the main focus is gonna be on those Rick tickets. Look at those tickets. Uh, you get 45 tickets for first place, 30 tickets for second, 20 tickets for third, and if you're fourth to tenth, you get 15 tickets. Now, once you're in the top 100, basically from 11 to 100, you still receive 10 tickets. So, this event's gonna be pretty cool where tickets are concerned, at least since you're not getting a new Morty or a special Morty at least you you know you get compensated by having an opportunity to get more tickets if you make it to the top 100 so that's going to be very cool now for me personally i'm going to go in it with my typical strategy so uh, out of my five i'll have at least one morty that'll do some debuffing but this time around i think i'm going to rely a lot on dragon morty and pretty much pure plutonic rocks uh honestly speaking between soul bondage and soul steel i could do the debuffs uh that i need to the boss monsters attack defense and speed uh speed not so much it doesn't really matter and then i could use one of my other mortys to drop or debuff its accuracy as well as get a paralysis on it so that's pretty much going to be my strategy and then pretty much just focus on beating it down as many times as i can and getting back my ap's with uh pure plutonic rocks since dragon morty has the ability to recover its own hp now if you don't have access to that then of course you might want to be using your items on recovering hp as you beat this thing down once you've debuffed it quite uh, efficiently or quite effectively and pretty much grind 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 as much as you can now with that said uh, there isn't too much else to point out uh, the event begins tomorrow uh, when this video goes up yeah so the event will begin tomorrow which is friday uh, friday morning for me and as always you should get four tickets which you should be able to use for two matches after that you're gonna have to play against other players and hopefully get tickets as you go by now based on the last event i highly recommend you do take the time if possible and approach the event as early as you can there's no guarantee that the boss is gonna stick around for too long especially if everyone is using you know really good strategies and that kind of thing so you definitely want to get in as early as you can and give yourself a fair opportunity at this point only time will tell how long the boss is gonna last but i think one of uh 
one of the comments in one of the previous videos, I think the last raid video I uploaded, someone said that it's essentially based off of, I, I guess, your region, maybe the server you're logged in on at the time, or your packet, so to speak. So once your area event is over, then that's pretty much it for you. And it's segmented into different packets, maybe around the world or uh, something like that. I'm not too sure, uh, but it sounds like that. And the, the event was continuing for others when it was already ended for me after a couple of hours. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Ultimately though, you do want to get in as early as you can and get those points. But yeah, that's a quick one. That's pretty much going to be it for today. Uh, good luck with the event tomorrow, guys. I will drop a video as soon as I can with my progress in the event as well. Uh, good luck. Let's all get some rig tickets out there. The objective is top 100 as always and better if you can. Uh, with that said, of course, as always, thank you guys for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Drop a thumbs up if you like the video. And... I will see you in the next one. Take care.